Others and to have a good life. Yes. The story of Agahoso Shalom is a miracle in many ways. In November of 2005, I learned of the orphan problem in Rwanda. And at that time, there were about 1.2 million orphans in Rwanda with no systemic solution to dealing with the problem. After the Second World War, there were hundreds and thousands of orphans who came to the new state of Israel. I wondered if the solution that had worked in Israel, which was really the creation of youth villages, is something that would work in Rwanda. Sitting at my computer in New York, somebody had told me about a man named Dr. Chaim Perry, who ran a youth village in Israel, named Yamin Ord. And so I sent him an email, Dear Dr. Perry, you don't know me, I'm a housewife in New York, but this is my idea. Hey, I'm gonna change it to channel 11. The day our first 125 kids arrive at ASYV, and that's really obviously a very momentous occasion for us. In August 17th of last year was a groundbreaking and today, a year later, there are kids moving in. And the other piece of that is, you know, what are you waiting for? These kids are getting older by the minute and the longer you wait, the more kids you miss. These kids knew problems in their life. So, I guess Shalom is an answer for them. It's the dream that is become reality. The idea is to have village life, which is imitating real life, but unlike real life, this village life is taken care of by the kids themselves. I think the excitement in the village about the kids coming today is really indescribable. The team that's here is really unbelievable. The volunteers from Israel and America are just amazing. We have eight people who are, couldn't be better. This is gonna be the vegetable garden here where we are. Right now we are measuring where the houses are for the animals. I'm going to show you the fruit. I'm going to buy them. I'm going to look for them. I'm going to show you the fruit. In four years, we're going to have 700 people eating in the village every day. This is a lot of food that we have to grow. And the goal is to be able to sell our produce and to generate income for the village. As we were after the war, we also asked how the world was, and there was no answer. They had something not less difficult. If I could get out of my life for a year or more in a project like this, then for me, I'm doing my own work. Our Rwandan staff have hearts that are huge. They just cannot wait to get their hands on these kids and, and start working and, and get everything going. אנחנו הרי רגילים כל הזמן שמזכירים אותנו בהקשרים השליליים. ו, ופה אנחנו לא מקבלים זה, אלא באים אנחנו לתת.
the reason that one building is in a certain place to inspire having the school at the highest point to say that learning is our highest idea. Certain uh, messages remind me of Yaminor, but there are also a lot of things that are very different. The philosophy is in a way preparing the kids for their after school era. It consists of living in a village and taking a responsibility for, for their life together with the best school that we can provide for these kids. So my father, I, I can tell him that I am in his place now because my father is still educated for 32 years. So I'm in his place. So he didn't die. He's still alive. When you help one kid, you help the world. You save the world. But above all, we will say that this we are succeeded because someone who was studying here is now working, is now sustaining himself or herself. That's our goal. My hopes and dreams are that you will take the time to learn and absorb everything that this village brings. When you go out into the world, you take everything that you have learned here and you share it with them. But for now, I wish you all the very best in getting settled in your new home. And know that wherever I am, not only will I be thinking of you all the time, but there are hundreds and hundreds of people who have been touched by this project and are working to make it be what it can be and they will be thinking of you too. I will, I will study everything that uh, will teach us and I will become an important man and I can help others like you. Yes, even in my country or in the world. Why do